Hi, this is Sean Clark with DreadCentral.com, and I'm here today talking to Hills Have Eyes 2 stars, David Reynolds and Michael Bailey Smith. So tell me, Michael, how did you get involved in the sequel? I don't know. I, I guess I, d I did a pretty good job with the first one, and uh, I was actually coming back from vacation on 4th of July, and it was uh, like July 6th, and I was driving back with the family, and uh, I got a call from Cody Zwig, the producer, and says, hey, can you be, you know, uh, at our offices at five o'clock. I got there, met uh, with Marianne uh, and Martin, the director, and uh, a couple of the producers, and we talked about different characters they were thinking of having me play, and one of those was uh, uh, Hades, another one was Grabber, and Chameleon. I read the script, and there was this character named Hansel, and I just fell in love with this character because he was such a this really great, uh, gentle character, and he led these soldiers that were searching for their lost buddies in these tunnels and I'm like wow I love this character it was so diverse I played bad guys my whole career I played the guy that kicks ass all the time and gets killed at the end I've done that five billion times I can do it with my eyes closed so when I read the script I said I want to play Hansel they said well we want you to play Hades I'm like yeah but I want to play Hansel and so uh, they said well uh, we're kind of going a different way physically with that uh, some a little more better looking and um, Hansel is kind of like a little bit like the Lenny of the the, the story. He's uh, I play someone who's basically probably got a very gentle soul, but who has been raised in a very brutal environment. Um, so my uh, things that I have in my room that you'll see in the movie are uh, look kind of barbaric. Obviously, been taken from the, the people that have been killed over the years by the mutants. Um, all of us are uh, under the leadership of Hades, and all of us are afraid of him. First of all, I love Pluto. He's freaking is an awesome character. I, I loved the diversity in that in that uh, that role between such a gentle, uh, innocent character to being incredibly violent and uh, just vicious. And Hades is you take away the gentle part, the innocent part, and just leave nothing but the violence and the domination and power and strength. And that you and there is Hades. I tried to add a lot of, a lot of color with with Hades. In his violence and his, you know, his domination, I try to add as much color as I could. One thing I, I like about K and B, who does did the makeup effects, is the prosthetics are very versatile and and they apply very close to your skin and they're very malleable in a way that you can really show a lot of emotion through uh, your acting. And you saw that in Pluto. I mean, there's a lot of subtleties that I that I had that you could see on the screen. You just feel like you can be another person. You can hide. Uh, under all this makeup and, and bring your hopefully bring your humanity out through the, the prosthetics. I've you know I've done a gazillion films and a gazillion TV shows and worked with so many directors and each one has their own style, their own temperament and how they direct and, and either the actor or the, handle the scene because they are basically the captain of the movie. And Alex from the first uh, the first hills when he's behind the camera behind the monitor watching and there's something really horrific happening like in the trailer scene when the, you know, people get shot and blood's coming out and boobs are being sucked and you know <laughs> and, you know the dead mother here he's got a huge smile on his face because he knows that this is going to be it's going to flip some people out on the screen and Martin is just to me he seemed like a really energetic young guy and passionate about um, what he wanted it must have been three or four weeks uh, into the time that I was in, uh, I had come to Morocco. Wes came over and I think he had a critique of what had been shot so far. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how much that will show in, in the final cut. Mm -hmm. uh, how much will be Martin's version and um, how much will be Wes Craven's version. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Uh, I, I did get to work with uh, Wes on, on a couple scenes that they, they had rewritten towards the end of my stay in, in Morocco. And Wes was much more to the point, uh, much more... Um, you know, let's get this done, this is what I want, and Martin was, would, would take maybe 15, 16 takes of, uh, you know, walking down the hallway, which isn't to put him down, but it was just a different style. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, I heard rumor that Michael Berryman was actually going to be involved in Hills 2. I actually spoke to him, and he said that, you know, he was talking to the producers and, and things like that, so, yeah, I heard that he's going to be involved, I heard that from several people, actually, and I heard he was going to do the film, and then... I think uh, negotiations fell through one way or the other and, you know, it didn't happen. So it had been kind of cool to have him be in the film. Alex Aja, um, I told him uh, that, hey, you know, when I got this role, I was going to watch the first Hills. He goes, do not watch it. Do not watch it. Stay away from it. You can watch it after the film, which I did. So I'm glad, too.
I haven't seen the original Hills of Eyes 2 sequel. I've never seen that. I have seen the original Hills of Eyes with Michael Berryman. Well, you're not missing anything. The Hills of Eyes 2 sequel is horrible. No, <laughs> I hear that, you know, if this one does pretty well, that they're going to try to do a third one. So, uh, as for me coming back, that's not going to happen. Uh, when I, I'm going to meet a, a good ending, and people are going to be cheering when that happens. I do some pretty nasty stuff. The opening scene in this film is pretty ghastly. I've never seen an opening of a film like this. When you see this, you're going to go, holy, you know what, it's going to, it's, it's pretty crazy. And... By the time the end of the film, when it gets to the end of the film, you're going to be glad that it, that I get what I get. You'll be cheering. So, Hades coming back, it's not going to happen. But, there might be something else, definitely. Would you be open to, to doing it again for a third? Yeah, I, of course. I mean, I think any actor would. Uh, it's an awesome experience, op awesome op opportunity. Sure, well, I think that with the third one, they're, they're really planning on making it a musical. I, I think that this will be a good way to combine the, the genres of horror and, and musical theater. I, I'm looking forward to it as being a pioneer uh, part of that, you know. Well, um, word on the street is Wes Craven's going to be doing Shocker the Musical first, so uh, hopefully he can yeah. get around. Well, I, I really want to get an audition for that then, because I, I think I should be in it. I mean, I, I feel privileged to have, have played Pluto, you know, after Michael Berryman made him so memorable in the first one, and uh, I think even though the remake of Hills still had the same story, a completely different movie, and my character is completely different from what Michael Berryman did. So I, I really like that. And if I could do something like that with Jason, that'd be awesome. Because I would like to do like an of mice and men type of a character. I love, I'm drawn to those types of characters. Um, that are innocent, misunderstood, um, and still have this incredible rage and power underneath, just ready to be unleashed. I love that. That's how I am in, in real life. I'm on the verge of becoming psycho and killing everybody in this room, so. <laughs> Please don't piss me off. Last question. If they ever made a Goonies remake. I told you, no more frickin' Goonies, okay? Uh, Michael, Michael uh, Page, you're uh, married, uh, come on. Uh, uh, I uh, love you. I love Matuzak. In our veins, our intertwined. I'm pretty good at mimicking people. Uh, right now, I could probably, your uh, camera guy there, uh, Andrew, I've been watching him all day, and the way he walks and shuffles around and his little shoulder tilt. I can, after this, I'll show you how exactly how he walks. He's got a very Frankenstein-ish. Yeah, it's kind of slumpy around, yeah. It's